Charles Law state that at constant pressure, the volume occupied by a fixed amount of gas is directly proportional to its absolute temperature. Okay, so the one that is constant in Charles Law is pressure and also the amount of gas. Okay, so if you look at here, alright, so the volume is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. So we use the absolute temperature here because we are going to measure the temperature in Kelvin. So in this chapter, all right, the units for temperature is always in Kelvin. Since the volume is directly proportional to the absolute temperature, so we know that as the volume increases, the temperature is also increases and vice versa. Alright, so if you look at this stimulation, okay, so in this stimulation dia, katakan saya masukkan 50 particles, okay, into this container, alright, so the pressure here is around 5.8 something lah, okay, so kalau saya increasekan the uh, temperature without uh, constant, uh, without uh, make the pressure constant, okay, so awak akan dapati, okay, kalau tengok, okay, semakin tinggi uh, temperature, Semakin tinggi juga pressure. Sebab apa? Sebab uh, when the temperature increases, the particles will move faster. So the average kinetic energy of the particles increases. So the, the frequency of collision between the particles and the walls of container also increases. That will make the pressure of the gas increases. Alright. So, kalau saya nak pastikan the pressure is constant. Okay. So, constantkan pressure dia. Okay, so pada 335 Kelvin, the pressure is 6.5 atm. Okay, so saya nak uh, fixkan the pressure 6.5 atm. Okay, so perhatikan apa yang berlaku pada the wall of container when I increase the temperature. Okay, kalau saya tinggikan temperature, okay, awak dapat tengok, okay, the uh, volume of the container, okay, akan semakin membesar. Okay, dia akan expand. Okay, kalau saya decreasekan the temperature, uh, volume dia pun akan semakin berkurang. Okay, this is because, okay, uh, when the temperature increases, right, when the temperature increases, uh, the frequency of collision between the particles also increases that will make the pressure of the gas increases. So, the volume will expand so that the uh, frequency of the collision will decreases until the atmospheric pressure is equals to the pressure of the gas. Okay, so kita nak pastikan the pressure of the gas is still constant. So kita kena reduce kan dia punya collision between the particles and the walls of container. So that's why Charles Law state that at constant pressure and fixed amount of gas, the volume occupied is directly proportional to its absolute temperature. So now let's have a look at the uh, example okay of the question right so we have a balloons filled with 1.95 liter of air at 25 degrees celsius and then placed in a car sitting in the sun what is the volume of the balloon when the temperature in the car reach 90 degrees celsius so the volume of the balloon when the temperature uh, in the car reach 90 degrees celsius so okay so we have two different temperature of course we are going to have two different volume so let's say this one okay i label it as v1 so the temperature of this volume is uh, will become the t1 okay so this temperature will become the t2 so the volume that we are going to uh, find is the v2 okay so sama juga macam uh, boys law tadi okay uh, tak kisahlah awak nak label dia V2 ke V1 ke asalkan pasangan temperature dia mesti betul. Okay, so since the question did mention about the pressure and also the amount of gas, so we know that uh, the pressure and the amount of gas uh, are fixed. Okay, the constant. So we are going to apply the Charles law lah about so constant pressure and amount of gas. Okay. So, we have the formula V1 over T1 is equals to V2 over T2. Okay. So, bear in mind. Okay. Since uh, dekat dalam uh, chapter ni, saya dah cakap kita akan gunakan absolute temperature. So, the temperature always in Kelvin. So, you must change the temperature. Okay. Into 
Kelvin. So, macam mana kita nak change temperature into Kelvin? Okay, so senang saja. From the degree Celsius, okay, katakan the T1, okay, is 25 degree Celsius. Okay, so kita nak change the into Kelvin, kita akan tambahkan dengan 273.15. Okay, so tambahkan dengan 273.15, so kita akan dapat 298. 0.15 Kelvin. Okay, so sama juga untuk temperature yang kedua, convert it into Kelvin. Okay. Okay, so the 90 degree Celsius is 363.15 Kelvin. Okay, so substitute into the formula. Okay, so we will get the second volume, the V2 is 2.38 Kelvin. Okay, so at 90 degree Celsius, the volume will expand to 2.38 Kelvin. So, betul lah. Okay, semakin tinggi temperature, semakin besar volume.